evening friends i am rotarian sairaj don the club secretary of the rotary club of panji riviera a warm welcome to our beloved dg rotarian dr girish masurkar our ag rotarian ashish prabhu vellekar and our district secretary rotarian vasuki sanji i also welcome all our lovely riverites for coming here for this the now new normal zoom meeting which also happens to be our club assembly and the district governor visit a district governor's visit is always very special for a club secretary and the club president during the year because it gives you that platform to showcase all the projects that you've done during the year to the district governor however the covid-19 pandemic has brought all our lives to a standstill and we need to now reinvent ourselves and the ways in which we reach back out and tell our story so this movie that you're going to see now will include the work done by this lovely club over the last 9 months through the eyes of the directors themselves so you are going to hear the directors speak their heart out while you just sit back and enjoy a trip down the memory lane of the life of rotary club of panju devyara over the last 9 months enjoy it evening, evening everyone. everyone club service is the soul of our club which binds us together as one big riviera parivar keeping this in mind as club service directors we continue with our annual traditions and events like our overnight stay our diwali dhamaka the christmas party haldi kukum the foreign trip to name a few apart from this we added few more exciting activities and projects like the volleyball tournament friendship day Halloween night, Secret Santa, and interesting guest speakers with varied topics like secrets of handwriting, oral hygiene, corporate responsibilities, etc., which brought in a new excitement and engaged more club members and their families. Even during lockdown, the club service team is working hard towards involving our club members through various online games, competitions, Zoom calls. hoping to ease out the stress during the covid-19 quarantine and to bring in joy and happiness in their lives our aim at rivera has always been about connecting with all the rotarians and their families the club service team has been maintaining a personal touch with all the rotarians and annets by wishing them for their birthdays their anniversaries communicating with them about the events and also involving them in the events This has built a lot of enthusiasm amongst the Rotarians and their families and this is what makes our club a vibrant one. Good day everyone. I hope everyone's keeping safe. I am Angad Singh Balochpura, I am the community service director and I am talking on behalf of myself and my co-chair that's Tanvi Sawant. the brief from our leadership was to focus on remote areas and not just stick to urban areas and also focus heavily on cataract uh, as a result we have done about 8 uh, cataract camps and detected 540 uh, cataract patients and operated on about uh, 163 uh, cataract operations this year uh, we also tried to combine cataract camps along with gynac camps wherever possible um and we have a an ongoing project which is the ananta physiotherapy center in vasco in which we treat about 750 patients per year this year we have managed to treat about 1000 patients most of them are uh, charged a subsidized fee the ones who can pay at about 50 rupees and the ones who cannot pay or who are from underprivileged backgrounds uh, they are not charged anything Additionally there are a few projects that uh, I would like to mention uh, like we have a monthly project of donating rations to the National Association for the Blind every month one of our uh, members sponsor similar thing we have birthday celebrations at uh, Hamara school which is a school for uh, street children and we also have at an orphanage called St Anthony's orphanage in which we uh, do the birthday celebration of all the birthdays of the month with a cake with a snack gifts and and all that uh, we also did a hiv positive leadership camp uh, which was in a remote area uh, benefiting close to about 30 to 40 participants it was a residential camp uh, we supported it 
uh, and we did a film festival for on psychological disabilities. Uh, we also did a Ryla for mobility and this was again in a remote location in which uh, the participants because of their uh, disability go through a lot of uh, issues from the society and uh, even family. Uh, so we taught them how to use smart canes, the canes that sort of vibrate when something comes closer and so that they can make use and try and be independent. And uh, there, was a, there was a big shift in them trying to use this and uh, thereafter using it. Uh, we also did a workshop on access consciousness. This was for about uh, 30 to 35 underprivileged children in again a remote location in uh, Old Goa. That's all from my desk. The year 2019-20 from the Vocational Service Project's desk, the directive from President Yogesh Bhikani was very, very clear. Reach out to different strata of the society so that you can upskill them, you can allow them to learn and you can transform their lives. So we were able to reach out to a myriad uh, segments from wives of Javans to college students just graduating and stepping out into the world and allowing their wings to, to fly. Um, kids with curious minds in schools, self-help groups in Goa who would like to upgrade their businesses. And two very clear experiences I had were when we taught English to the wives of the um, Javans. For them, it was the most empowering experience because now they were able to teach their kids English. They were able to participate in their education and raise their self-confidence and esteem. And when we reached out to this college students, to this state level workshop, where we had five speakers from innovative and novel professions, telling them that there is there are a myriad professions out there for you to take up. You should have seen the excitement and enthusiasm in their face, just raring to go. Good afternoon DG sir, I'm Rotarian Colleen Sikwara, Vocational Service Director along with Rotarian Priyanka. This year one of the focus for us was educative field trips for schools. We took some of them to, Naren, to the Zante Cashew Factory, the Goa Waste Management Centre Pillar, even the State Assembly where the students even met the Chief Minister and some other ministers. We also felicitated rural women for masala making did a monthly program in strength and agility training for children and took them to a scuba diving center for a talk on careers in the Indian Navy and in scuba. To wrap up the year, this year we have COVID warriors that we would like to felicitate. Thank you very much and stay safe. Good evening everyone. I'm Rotarian Sangha Fernandez, New Generation Director. It seems like a few months ago when I took up this post and I can say we really have come a long way. The thrill and excitement of planning each project and executing it with the support of our President Rotarian Yogesh Kulkarni and Secretary Sairaj Dhund. My medical is an ever smiling co-director Metali Natkarni was a joy to work with and we can proudly say that we have done close to 30 projects in these months. From the Walk for Freedom Against Child Trafficking to educating students about e-waste management, working closely with the road track clubs, whether it be Traffic Awareness Week or organizing Christmas parties at an orphanage, we've done it all. We also have trained them how to turn their careers, how to turn their hobbies into careers. I can truly say that we have made a difference with the youth in these months and have been instrumental in developing them holistically. As Mahatma Gandhi said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Hello everyone, I'm Rotarian Maithili Natkani, co-director New Gen Service along with my dynamic partner Sandra Fernandez. Many thanks to Pre President Yogesh and Secretary Sairaj for giving me this opportunity to serve in spite of being a fairly new member of our esteemed club. They led from the front and were always there to guide us for anything that we needed along the way. Uh, 
on the new gen service i got to interact and influence uh, the the young minds of uh, goa and their enthusiasm and positivity made it a very fulfilling experience for me uh, especially on the new gen service my husband and i were very concerned about menstrual hygiene management for the girl child in rural schools and we donated four pairs of sanitary pad vending machines and incinerators uh, to some uh, rural schools in goa one more pair being donated by my fellow rotarian priyanka rao this project benefited approximately 1800 girls Some other projects are close to my heart were a blood donation camp and a tree plantation drive by Narayan Zadi College Road Tractors, hoping to do more meaningful work after the lockdown ends. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our International Service Director, Rotarian Thalat Sundar, I would like to say that this year has been a very nice year as far as the international service projects go. We have attended a lot of projects and events organized by various clubs from Punjab, from Goa, and around. But the highlight of this year was the boys' trip to Armenia. Here we had a joint meeting with the Rotary Club of Armenia, and they further invited us to a Rotary dinner meet, which was organized by the Rotary Clubs of Armenia, where there were ten different clubs with whom we exchanged flags, and there was an amazing interaction. and you could say it was an opportunity of a lifetime furthermore we also interacted and met the ambassador of india to armenia his excellency kd deva with whom we exchanged flags and we had a nice discussion on the customs and cultures of india and armenia during the year we exchanged flags met with a lot of clubs that would visit goa and if our members traveled abroad or traveled to any other state they would have joint meetings and exchange flags with those clubs there One such very important and critical meeting was attended by Rotarian Raja Melwani our past president on his visit to Toronto which really translated and was instrumental in getting us our global grant partners Another thing that a club organized on the international front was the first volleyball tournament of Goa This was a volleyball tournament organized for all the clubs of Goa which saw great participation and it was an amazing international project getting all the clubs together and was a great success all in all on the international front the president's brief was that we should reach out to as many clubs as possible in the country outside the country and spread the message of rotary and spread the love of rotary club of punji riviera and i think we've successfully done that Our club since its inception 16 years ago has been one of the biggest givers to the Rotary Foundation. However, we have never had the good fortune of having a global grant approved in our favor. At the start of the year, our president was determined to change this, and with the tireless efforts of Rotarian Raja Melwani, Rotarian Siddhat Zatie, and guidance from PDG Pranish Zagirdar sir, we made this happen this year. Our first global grant application for funding to provide mammography equipment to the Matruchaya Rugnashray Center in Goa, India has been approved by the Rotary Foundation. This global grant is along with Rotary Club of Toras Beskravara and the amount of this grant is US dollars 40096. The items under this grant are mammography machine, digital recorder and a colposcope. Our club has also initiated a new global grant application for the COVID-19 relief work. And this is for funding to provide to the Directorate of Health Services Goa critical medical equipments and PPE kits to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. The grant is worth 1 lakh US dollars and it's in its final stages of approval. Public image building is one of the key thrust areas of Rotary today. And at this juncture I must mention Rotarian Jonathan Fernandez who has been in charge of our social media movement for having extensively used Facebook and Instagram to showcase our major projects to the social world out there. There have been various mentions of our club and the projects that we do all over social media and in print media as well. fills me with happiness to inform you 
that the official Twitter handle of Rotary International follows us on Twitter and the United Nations Development Program has tweeted about our efforts in the COVID-19 pandemic. Another very nice project that we organized on the public image building front was the first All Goa Volleyball Tournament. It had more than 1000 people thronging there on Miramar Beach to watch the action and it was covered by almost all major leading newspapers in the state of Goa. Another nice project that we did was the distribution of aprons and gloves to the municipal workers and fish cutters of the Corporation of City of Panji. This was again covered by all newspapers and news channels and the best part, it was featured on Rotary News. Therefore, all in all, this year has been a great year on the public image building front for our club as well as Rotary and we've tried to keep no stone unturned in reaching out to the people and letting the people and the public know what we do at Rotary Club of Panchi Riviera. Over the last few weeks, the world is in the grasp of a deadly virus called COVID-19, which has now been declared a pandemic. There has been a complete lockdown in our country and due to which a large number of people are rendered incomeless and devoid of basic rations and groceries. It is in this kind of crisis that the true character of a Rotary Club and its Rotarians comes to the fore. The Rotarians of Panji Riviera have stood through to the motto of Rotary, service above self, and have led the way in the relief efforts in these trying times. From the very first day of the lockdown, our members were on ground zero, risking their and their families' lives in order to serve the needy. They volunteered to help the corporation of city of Panji to deliver groceries under their home delivery scheme to the residents of Panji city. Later on, our club teamed up with the Indian Red Cross Society Goa Council and arranged groceries from all over Goa. Packaged them into boxes containing 5 kg rice, 4 kg atta, 1 kg dal, 1 kg onion, 1 kg potato and 1 litre oil. These boxes were then distributed free of cost to the senior citizens, poor and migrant labourers all over the state of Goa. Till date, we have distributed over 850 such boxes and around 1000 kgs of rice, 800 kgs of atta separately, thereby reaching out to nearly 5000 people in a span of over 10 days. Our club has raised an amount of rupees 5 lakhs to purchase and distribute groceries. Rupees 50,000 has been given to Indian Red Cross Society Goa Council for the purchase of 50 PPE kits to be handed over to Goa Medical College and other government hospitals. And furthermore, an amount of rupees 65,000 has been handed over to the DG as a part of the Rotary India contribution to the PM Cares Fund. The Rotarians of Panji Riviera are always known to be frontline soldiers in times of crisis. And once again, they've proved this to be true. This effort will continue as long as the need arises and we would be ever ready to help in future as well whenever our great nation calls upon us. We are always in the service of Rotary and mankind. So friends, that was a nice short and sweet journey into the last nine months. Before we conclude, I would just like to say a few things. First and foremost, I would like to deeply thank Rotarian, President Rotarian Yogesh Kulkarni for entrusting me with the job of the secretary of this prestigious club Thank you, Yogi, for giving me this opportunity and I hope I have lived up to your expectations. This journey has been amazing, documenting every single project that every director and every member of this club has done. And if given an opportunity, I would do it again and again and again. No complaints, no regrets. The only, only thing that I feel bad about today is that we've lost around three months of our term in which a lot more could have been done. But nevertheless, even through these trying times, Riviera has stood up and done whatever they could do, even during this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you so much, guys, for being such patient and nice viewers. And I really, really hope you like what we've presented before you all. Thank you.